Welcome to the 2022 Coconut Grove Arts Festival. It's back, get ready to tour. We're gonna meet some of the artists. We're gonna see some of the other themes over here. And let me know you're enjoying this video by smashing that like button. And of course, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, let's go. And adjacent to the Coconut Grove Arts Festival is the St. Stephen's Art Show. Always a pleasure to check out what they have here. I've purchased things here, found beautiful art. Sometimes I've seen the artists start off here and then the next year go to Coconut Grove Arts Festival. And this section is completely free. No admission, they just ask for a donation if you'd like. There's food here, there's just plenty of things. There's that awesome tea room. And I'm not gonna go through this right now because I wanna just make sure I cover everything else at the Coconut Grove Arts Festival. But definitely be sure to check out my other coverage of this from previous years. I'll make sure there's a link in the description, as well as a very brief tour of this hotel right next to us, the Mr. C. Really cool looking building. So additional videos of all those, check out the link in the description. And if I can, I'll flash a card up there, that little thing that appears in the upper right corner where you can just click on that. Okay, these are the long sleeves. So you have the logo on the front and the artwork on the back. And how much are the shirts? The two shirts are $22 each plus tax or two for 40 plus tax. Oh, okay, great. So these are official with the artwork. This has the artwork. And then over there I have the V-necks and the tanks. This is the official poster for this year. These are $100. This one, which is on aluminum, is $200. You can also purchase admission right here. General admission for one day is $25. Right tent. And you could also purchase online. So you skip the lines, just scan your QR code to enter as well. Every year I always like to do an interview with the artist whose work has been selected for the official poster for that year. Unfortunately, the artist is not here today. He was here on the other days, but I was at the boat show. So we'll still take a look around. for their Art Deco weekend, I always see this amazing artwork by this great artist right here. And I just have to stop every time and cover it. My name is Peter Robinson Smith. This is my first time in Coconut Grove and we nearly sold out here. So this has been a great show for us. We're based out of 20 minutes north of Brattleboro, Vermont, in the mountains. This is my work. It's, uh, it's after 18 plus years experimenting and studying uh, 
the effects of uh, industrial wire mesh based on cross hatching, the manipulation of me mesh after I've torched it. It's been an evolution for over 18 years. I do them all individually freehand, so there's no two ever exactly alike. Yeah, and I just want to state on here, definitely check out my other video coverage of it, because right now, like, it's very bright out here. But you've got to see these at nighttime, where where um, he takes a flashlight and shows you the shadow, and then you see like a very like three dimensional image kind of forming with a shadow. It's just amazing. That. Because uh, because these all light up at nighttime with candlelight just as well. And I do I try to tell people if they purchase them that uh, you should consider doing them with uh, with uh, candlelight. Because that horse is all one piece of mesh. One piece. Wow. All one piece of mesh. There's only about maybe 25 people that I know of in the world who do work with industrial wire mesh, but we all do something relatively different. You could say that this is my own innovation to a very rare medium. That's it in a nutshell, really. Just to register here, spin the wheel, you can win all sorts of things, including gloves, shirts. This section is an extra fee to come over here. It's the VIP, plenty of free food and drinks included with that admission. You have this beautiful outdoor seating area with umbrellas at each table. You hear the DJ, watch them painting those cargo containers. Over here in Peacock Park, they have another section of t-shirts. But what you'll notice here, these are all older shirts from prior shows. And these are $5 each. That's amazing. Amazing deal. And we have a fanny pack, a highlighter, and a water bottle.
name is Ty, and welcome to my world. I don't know what I was saying, but hello, hello everybody out there. <laughs> and uh, talk about your work just real fast in style. Uh, yeah, I'm a ballpoint pen artist, so I work mainly with ballpoint pen. I use some watercolor and colored pencils, but I do surreal drawings, sort of like uh, Salvador Dali, but with a pen. And where are you visiting us from? I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I have a place in Hannibal, Missouri, but I'm, I'm from a little bit of ways, like a 30, 41 hour drive, not so bad. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, cheers. Thanks, Coconut Grove. My name is John Dennis at the Great Coconut Grove Art Festival. Uh, here's some of my work. Uh, it's been a great show. And where are you based out of? Miami. All right, so you're a local artist. Short drive, and that, that's fine. Uh, but it was a lot. Great meeting uh, the neighborhood. Um, and uh, here's a piece of mine right here. This is called Soleil. It's actually a maneuver. And it's like kind of a dichromic glass, so when the light hits it, it really bounces. This is $150 to do the Kettle One Collectors Club VIP, and that of course includes admission to the art show itself. 
Yeah. And then they can create their own artwork of whatever they want to. And they keep it, so we put it out here to dry. Oh, okay. And then they get to take it home with them. And the path continues right this way to City Hall.
Hi, my name is Kimber. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's about my 20th year of doing this show. So I try to come down and get out of the minus two degree temperatures. And I make really fun things that make people smile. They're all made out of metal. So I'm a very tough, strong girl. And, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of collectors down here. Hey man, my name's uh, Bruce Reinfeld. I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, welcome to the Coconut Grove Art Show. It's over, <laughs> but uh, that's it. What do you know? And you're a medium. Talk no, about that. Uh, it's kind of like a mixed media. It's called lenticular, so it's all based on your viewing angle. It's like an animation process. As you move, uh, it moves. So as you kind of go by this piece, you can kind of see it do its thing, right? Hopefully on video. It's kind yeah, of it's coming out. Video, yeah, but right. Ah. It's reminding me back, like in the '80s and '90s. Sometimes they would have that on things, like even like at the fast food restaurants, they had these things yeah. that we would turn it around. It kind of creates that animation. I love it. Jack prize is yeah. Yeah. cards and that's what it was it was used in advertising back in like the 50s okay wow back then um, and I just wanted to figure out how to do it on a grand scale and there's just really no one that does it like this so it's cool wow this one is amazing it's just wow We've seen these works before they're here, they're beautiful. All of these are actual toys, spray painted black, put together as a sculpture that's framed and can be hung on the wall. There's about a half an hour left of the show, so some people are closing up already. Hi, 
Uh, this is all my family caught the J. My husband caught the J, and I do all the braiding myself since I was five years old. And where are you based out of? Michigan. Thank you. I'm Ken Orton. I'm uh, what some people describe as a photorealist painter. I'm from Birmingham in the middle of England. I live in Venice in Florida this time of year. And this is my work. As I say, it's um, photorealism. I work things from a photograph, but there is no element of the photograph in, the, in any of these paintings. These are all pure oil paintings. <laughs> Hi, Christian Nevin from Orlando, Florida. Awesome show this weekend. Fantastic. So the crowns are golden diamonds and they start out at 125 inch. Um, Hi, I'm Mark McKinnon from uh, New York, uh, up in the Hudson Valley. Yeah, I'm doing uh, digital photography, kind of uh, collage work from uh, New York. I'm originally from San Diego, so a lot of my work is, is actually shot in San Diego, but it's around. It's, you know, I've got Portugal, Panama, uh, Hawaii, but it's, it's coastal related stuff. Now, being that it's digital art, so I mean, you're taking a digital photograph and then manipulating that, is that correct? I am. Like, this piece is a double couple of different images. Um, and shooting the sunset separately from the uh, staircase. So the I make this in almost into a negative, and then I just do an overlay. Now, do you use any programs like Photoshop or any kind of... Photoshop. Photoshop, okay. Uh, some other uh, editing programs, but primarily Photoshop. Hey, uh, we're Chelsea and Jeremy Griffith from Southern Illinois. It's all blown glass, believe it or not, even though it ends up being a flat thing in the end. Um, it's blown glass that we slice and um, arrange and melt back together. My name is William Kidd. Uh, I've been doing this art festival for 26 years. Uh, it's been a great festival over the years. And anyway, my, my ceramic work is uh, kind of organically inspired, kind of whimsical forms, uh, not quite of this world, but kind of, you know, maybe alien a little bit. And where are you visiting us from? I'm now living in St. Petersburg.
Who's walking down this stretch as the show is closing? Hey, how you doing? I'm Alex Lanier. I'm with Alex Lanier Art from Tallahassee, and I do digital art. And here is my work right here, all digital, creative. We have our prior poster artist right here. Be sure to check out that video. See a whole interview with him talking about his work. I'm Lisa Moat. I'm here from Georgia and I'm here at the Coconut Grove Art Festival. It's all kiln fired glass. Um, as you can see, very large scale, wall mountable pieces. Um, it's been a phenomenal show. Uh, a kiln. I built it all inside of a kiln. And the way the sunlight is hitting those pieces is just absolutely magical when that sun hits it. Wow. Oh, wow, this one is 3D actually right here. That's a 3D. It's not going to come out on the camera. But that's awesome. Wow. Good, good. Just finishing up our show here. And yeah, this is another one of these kind of 3D holographic prints. That's amazing. That is South Point Park. Continuum over here, Portofino Tower. And that's government cut where all of the cruise ships pass through. Just the other day, a helicopter crashed like right over here in the water. Nobody got hit in the water and everybody on the helicopter survived. I was there at the boat show when seeing all the police boats flying by. 
I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm an artist based out of New York, and these are all my photographs. They're all aerial photographs that I take using a kite to lift my camera into the air to achieve a unique vantage point. I use a wireless remote to operate my camera from the ground while it's up on the kite, and I can view what the camera sees through a wireless video transmitter. And I also built an electronic servo motor on top of the camera that allows me to operate the camera and point it to different directions. That's what I was going to ask you about. Was is there like a stabilizer or something like that? But you rotate. There's nothing that stabilizes the camera. The the kites that I use are built for stability, so they're surprisingly oh, wow. steady when they're in the air, as long as the wind is consistent. Hi, I'm Tanya Tyree. I make all these from clay. They're all one-of-a-kind handmade sculptures, and I'm really excited to be showing them here at Coconut Grove. I love this art festival. How you doing? I'm Thomas Williams. This is my booth. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Actually, all my work is oil paintings. It's usually uh, figurative paintings. I like painting people. I do have some landscapes incorporated in some of the work I have here today. I did a series called Power to the People, 60s, and this is Power to the People, Freedom Riders, 50, because they fought against segregation in the South in the 1950s. And so those are the core members that actually started uh, uh, to the bus riding from the North to the South to uh, change those laws. And since the South didn't believe in uh, enforcing the laws in the United States. Hi, I'm Doug Burskin, and this is my art, Art with a Flow. And my creations are sculpting my work with a uh, acrylic paint and infused with a mica color. I overlay it with metallics. I clear coat my artwork, and then I heat and bend it into my sculpted shapes and design. Good afternoon, my name is Marilyn Brown and I'm a black and white photographer. I'm based in South Florida. I just love it here. There are pictures everywhere. I love to photograph in black and white, as you can see from some of the photos he's going to show you. And this is one of my cards. This is a picture of Vizcaya. Here's my other card, the Key Biscayne Lighthouse, which is pretty much my signature. You can go out there and climb up to the top of the lighthouse, and you should, and it's the prettiest view in Miami. And this is what I started my career with, this camera. It's a 4x5 wooden field camera, and it folds up, and I can put it in my backpack. And then my husband loads up and carries all the equipment, and we hike all over the place. He's the muscle that puts everything up and makes it possible to do it. He's also my captain. When you see my 
on my water pictures, like I can show you in a minute. He takes me out in his boat, and he also gets me out of bed in the morning. He'll say, you said you wanted to be there before the sunrise, so get out of bed. And so that's how we managed to get there. And the whole secret in the photography is show up. That's what you have to do. You just have to get out of bed and show up. This is my original camera, and the body of my work is with 4x5 sheet film. But I've switched over to digital, and it is magic. So now you prefer the digital, huh? Oh, it's, I love it. You know, what? No more dodging and burning with little bitty wires and pieces of paper. and It's amazing. What it's kind amazing. of camera do you use? I use the Canon 5D. They have great customer service. It's a great camera. Where is that? Down in the Keys. That is, okay. This is called Side by Side. This is the old bridge, built in a very innovative style at the time. And this is the new Channel 5 bridge, which is really huge. This was like the old Flagler bridge, right? Yes, Where they had the, ra right. the uh, railroad on it. Yes. Yeah. And this is the new Coca Walk. I still love the original one, but it's been closed down. They kind of turned it into more office space and so forth, as you see on the right. But yeah, I'll have to check that out one day. Also, be sure to use the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this art festival, and uh, you can even give your thoughts, your favorite piece of art and uh, your reasons behind it. I'd love to hear that feedback. I hope you enjoyed going through Coconut Grove Arts Festival with me, 2022. Let me know you enjoyed this video by smashing the like button. Also helps get the channel noticed by other viewers that have never seen this channel before, so I really would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Fat 1010 is the everything channel of SoFlow and Beyond, so there's plenty of content for everyone. If you want to see more art, just go check out the art playlist and uh, screaming at children no matter what. This is why, guys, when you wonder why I don't do narrate my videos, I swear, whatever I try to do, there's so much noise and there's things over. But anyway, I went to a quiet area here, but that's what happens. I'll see you guys soon. Like I was trying to say, navigate with the uh, playlist. There's one for art, but there's all sorts of things here. And thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.